Beautiful people, welcome back to The Overwhelmed Woman. I'm Emma and this video is about the reasons why we keep clutter and how it can all build up around us for three main reasons which I call the silent G's in clutter and they are grief, guilt and gain. Um, now gain is a really easy one to talk about and the grief and guilt I'll actually talk about in a separate video because that's a little bit more heavy but um, certainly in terms of gain we've all done it haven't we we've all introduced things into our home because we perceive it to have a benefit in some way or we've accepted handouts from people or um, donations from friends or we've bought stuff on car boot sales and charity shops and we think oh that's going to help us and before we know it, we've got a house full of stuff and um, a couple of practical examples I can give you there would be um, for example, when my daughter was born, we were given so many toys and games and clothes, many of those for when she was older by well-meaning family and friends. And a lot of that stuff just got moved around my very small house at the time, shoehorned into cupboards and into loft spaces. And at the point where my daughter was big enough to wear many of the clothes that she'd been given, she actually had reached a stage already uh, where she actually didn't want to wear them. She was very much a boardy shorts and t-shirts and trainers kind of girl right from when she was very tiny so all of that stuff I've been moving around my house for years hardly got a look in and um the same with multi buys they're another big thing because we perceive them to be a financial gain so we buy stuff in bulk well it's great if you have got the physical space to put those things be it food supplies or toiletries or what have you but when you haven't it just becomes clutter and I actually bought 20 boxes of tea bags once that were on offer <laughs> green tea bags because my husband drinks a green tea but he has one cup a day and I worked it out after I bought it that it it was going to take him about three years to get through that stash and that stash sure enough just stayed in my kitchen cabinets being moved around for all of that time and it actually then went out of date before he ever got time to drink it so yeah note to self don't do that <laughs> Um, and look, we've always, ex so many of us accept things that are given to us or offered to us without really forward thinking whether it's going to have a place or a benefit in our lives or in our homes in some way. Um, and then when we've got it, we don't actually know what to do with it. Um, and another thing for me was I was always struggling for money when our daughter was little and I used to get things from car boot sales and sell things on eBay and do anything possible to remain solvent. But my house honestly looked like something out of Trotters Independent on Only Fools and Horses. There used to be clothes hanging on the back of every door waiting to be photographed to be sold. And dealing with all that stuff was exhausting. And sometimes, yes, there might be financial benefits in eventually being able to sell that stuff but you do have to draw a line for your own mental well-being and there is a huge benefit sometimes in just letting all that stuff go and when you let it go don't introduce it into your house anymore and as much as I love a bargain and I love a freebie and I am all in for accepting any bit of charity or help that comes my way I've started to get much better now at really analysing the things that are being offered or the boat the uh, bargains that I see around me and going is this going to actually help me or is it going to hinder me and my journey from clutter to clarity has been very much one of realising that the less I have the happier and less stressed I am honestly and I would rather go the other way now and keep getting rid of stuff than introduce more into my home. Um, now anyway that's a little bit about gain obviously the stuff about grief and guilt I will go into in another video but if you have a chance check out my website because there is a, a review on there from an elderly gentleman that I decluttered for um, quite a few years ago now and his story is a perfect example of being trapped by grief and guilt and also the huge benefits of being able to let that stuff go because we keep um, a lot of items in our lives because they are so they are associated to people that we've lost loved and lost and um, relationships that have ended or times in our life where we felt happy or safe but I promise you the stuff will not um, sustain you it never will and you may be surprised how negatively 
the stuff around you is impacting you when you really have no idea that that is the case. So free yourself of the stuff, stop taking in stuff you don't need and um, you will be one step closer towards a clutter-free life. Anyway, as always, until next time, if you um, haven't subscribed to this, please subscribe. I'd love you to join the team and to give me a little comment to let me know who you are so I can say thank you. Please drop a like in the video and share the channel and spread the love and uh, massive love to you as always. And now I'm going to go and get a cup of tea.